Hi guys, welcome to Justice Computing Class. My name is Justice Joseph Kofikabe. We are going to look at information and communication technology for GHS-1, a topic word processing application. I want to try as my best to take you through all the lessons that you must, all the topics that are supposed to be treated this term. So please stay tuned as I take you through the lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if today is your first time of seeing me on your screen. I advise you to press the notification bell so anytime we upload a new video, you'll be notified. Thank you very much and God bless you. Pay attention as I take you through the lesson. Okay, so we are going to we are looking at a um, word processing application for GHS one lesson one for the term. So this is the first topic for third term. So I want you to take you through the lesson. So make sure you pay attention. Good. So now let's look at the first uh, subtopic: opening an existing document. We are going to look at how to open an existing document and the word processing application. And also we will look at how to format a document using the uh, the common formatting tools. Also, we'll look at renaming formatted document using the save as command. Now, what's our lesson focus? So, at the end of this lesson, you'll be able to acquire some more skills in creating documents. You also open and you know how to open an existing document. You also know how to format text in a document, changing the font size and the font type. And you also know how to rename a formatted document. Let's start. Lesson notes. So it's a structured note for you, so you can write them down. Now, when you format a page, it is called page formatting. In the same way, when you format a text, it is also called text formatting. Text formatting changes the look or appearance of a single letter, word, or a whole series of words. Formatting text can enhance the reading of the word and also help helps you to understand what you are reading so before this is a just a brief introduction about what formatting text is all, all about so this is how we are going to know before we start with how to format the text I want us to look at how to open an existing document so let's look at how to open an existing document first before we start with how to what format a text we have some methods here that will take you through so we have the first one here um, how to open an existing document through ap application program. So we are going to look at how to open a document through application program. So first, click on the start button. Move to all programs, Microsoft Office, Microsoft Word. That's what is showing over there. Then click on file. Immediately you click on that. The word, the word Microsoft Office will open. So you click on file. You normally where they said is Office. A button so click on file click on open open is found on the standard toolbar so click on open then select my document from the drop down list select the name of the file then click on open the file will be opened so this one step of how to open actually you can open a file from Microsoft Word that's what we went through these steps over there by clicking first clicking on the start button moving to all programs going to microsoft office microsoft word then to click on file or office button click on open select my document from the drop down list select the name of the file that you use what you want to open then what click on what open the file will be opened for you on the screen good now let's look at method two open my documents folder from the desktop looked for the file name so the file you open my documents folder on the desktop look for the file name then to select the file right click select open from the pop-up menu so when the method two of how to open a document now look at this or you can after you finish selecting instead of you clicking on what um selecting open selecting uh open you can also select uh, press the enter key when you press the enter key it will be opened good now let's look at how to change the appearance changing the font size i want us to look at all this so that when we start formatting the test or a document you understand what i mean so i want us to look at all these steps so that when we come back by formatting a document you understand exactly what 
let's the note is all about so let's look at how to change a font type and the first one changing the font type within a microsoft word document follow the steps below so, so the first one is highlight the text you want to change remember this anytime you want to format a test don't forget this the first thing you're supposed to do is what highlight or select if you don't highlight you can format the test so the first thing you're supposed to do if, if you want to format a test you must highlight the test good now let's look at the second one click on the arrow next to the font field the font field on the formatting the format bar or ribbon if you want to change the font to bold italic or underlined click on the bold that is the, you can see what the the b stand for bold the i stand for italic and the u stand for underline on the formatting bar then three after clicking the down arrow for the font you should be able to select from each of the installed fonts on your computer this is how the structured notes uh, the, the steps of how to change a font a, 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 a font type now let's look at how to change the font size to change the font size within a microsoft follow the steps below one highlight the text as usual you highlight the text you want to change click on the drop down so it's just similar to what the first one we did just something similar. so i will we we'll look at the practical aspect of it do you understand so just look at the practicals so let's, let's let's go to the practicals good okay so let's look at how to open an existing document so let's look at the steps involved so this is windows 8 it doesn't show the 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 normal start button or maybe windows windows xp or windows 7 fish uh, features but this our start button when we click on it it will do all programs so we go to microsoft office so i will just type microsoft word so even it has displayed here straightforward so i'll just select microsoft word 2007 so you can see it over there so i'll just click on it so it will display this way now we created a document i created a document so i'm going to use the office the word processing to open down my document so after i finish opening i'll click on what file this file or office button i'll just click on it after i finish clicking on it then i'll move to open this is open can you see good open so i'll just click on open good then from there i'll move to my document my document so this is my document i'll just click on my document so that's my document then I'll look for the file name that I want to open. So this is the file name ICT GHS Lesson 1. So I'll just click on it. Then I'll click on what? Open. So the document will open this way. So this is how it will open. Have you seen it? Beautiful. So I am going to format this part of this work. So let's look at how to format it. So first of all, let's change, let's highlight everything and change the font size to be um, 16 good then we change the font type to be new times new roma good so i've so far i've changed the font size and changed the font type so i'll just adjust my paper a little for so if you want to adjust your paper so that this space over the space created over here will just be will not be wasted so we just go to the ruler here then just left uh, left click and drag it up so you drag it up to the le level that you want it to be then you drop it there the same thing you can do the same thing to this side and the other side so we have the horizontal and vertical rulers good now i want to change the heading to color red so you can see the color here so i want to change to um let's see red yes red i feel like changing the font size of the heading again to 20. good 
okay so after I done that I think you can see it boldly so I want to change it I want to center the heading so the heading is here you can see it when I put it on it is displaying heading can you see it good so good so that is it. so I'll just center um, my heading this way so I'll just also feel like uh, changing the font color of the topic so I want to change it to um, um, any color at all you wish to change it but I feel like using a color like um, which color matches mm, any color at all okay let me choose um, the colors here I don't like them but for the sake of our lesson I'm choosing green choosing green good so now it has been formatted to the color that I am I'm choosing now good so we are still formatting okay so I feel like uh, underlining uh, the 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 subject or the topic so I'll just underline it this way and I feel like underlining this one too so I'll just um, underline okay okay so just underline and just click on the underline on the formatting toolbar once so it's underlined good so this is all that we can do for now there are so many things on the formatting too but we have that under uh, align left align right we have align left align right we have center and then we have justify we have line spacing we have line spacing we have numbering we have bulleting and all that font size uh, change case they're all on the formatting toolbar so for now to see how we do formatting then that's how it goes now after you finish typing you want you feel like okay you want to change the name from ICT THS one lesson one to a different name so just look at how it goes now you go back to the office button you click on the office button then you go to save us again you click on save us then the name will appear there so assuming we want to change the name to um ict ghs one or ict lesson ict yeah uh, let's say ict ghs one so that is it so I will change the name I'll just change the name to ICT GHS one or I'll save it a new name then I'll decide to save it at the same place my document so I'll just click on what save this time around I'm just clicking when I finish with the name I'll click on what save so you can see on the title bar here that the name has been changed to ICT GHS one so that is how to save a document an edited document or change an edited document good good I believe you understand good good try and practice at home those of you who have computers make sure you use your computers wisely practice at home so that you'll be more conversant with this aspect of this practical good okay so now so it's just similar to the practical aspect so when you look at the picture diagram that is displaying over here this is how the the, the formatting toolbar looks like good now let's look at um, um changing the font color now if you want to change the font color these are the steps that you're supposed to follow so highlight the text first use your highlight the text you want to change then uh, click on da uh, the down arrow next to the color icon on the formatting bar or the ribbon it is also usually displayed as the letter a with a red underlined now 
as shown in the example so you can see there was a diagram here you can see right here this one this very diagram over here. if you can see a then a red line underline this is how the font color this thing displays good after clicking the down arrow for the after clicking the down arrow for the color select the color you want to make the text so you just select the color that you wish to use for what the test so that is how to format a test good now let's look at how to rename um our formatted document because we want to we want to see different between the difference between the new formatted and the old and formatted document let's just try and save it with different file name now the steps are select file from the menu bar two click on save as three select your uh, file location select your file location then three and uh, then four type your new file name then last one click on save remember between save as and save i want you to get this there's the difference between what save as and save very simple save as is what saving a document for the first time a created new or a new created document for the first time with a name that is save as so if you save a document you create a document you're now going to save it with a new name you have to click on save as so save as kofi save as ama save as uh, kojo good but when we come to save save is what S uh, saving an existing document the document is already there after applying changes after doing editing and all that formatting doing changes you will not click on save as because the document is already existing so you just click on what save save sorry you just click on what save so the difference between save as and save again the difference between in case you meet it next time so what is the difference between save and save as save as is used to save a new created document while save is used to save an existing document do you understand do you understand good now let's look to rename a file or folder you are supposed to follow these steps so the first one right click on the file or folder you wish to rename you have to right click on the file or folder you wish to rename select rename from the pop-up menu so when you right click a pop-up menu will appear then you select what rename type the new name so which means that the name that you want to change just the new name that you want to type just type it over there then you press the enter key or click outside the file for a new name to be accepted let's look at the assignment that you have for today so your assignment for today is what is formatting two what is the difference between save and savers three write the steps of how to rename a formatted document then five and uh, four write five formatting tools you know the five list the steps of how to list the step steps of renaming a file or a folder hi guys i believe the lesson you understand everything i taught you good so i advise if you really enjoy this lesson i advise you subscribe to my youtube channel please just subscribe for me okay i just want to keep you guys in touch whilst you guys at home so just uh, press the notification area on the notification bell so anytime i upload a new video you'll be the first person to be notified now one i want you to any if you have any question to ask try and just video yourself just take a, a, a three minute video or two minutes just uh, ask your question very short and just take a video of yourself and just send it to the whatsapp number on your screen and also when you finish the assignment you can just take a picture of the assignment and send it to the whatsapp number on your screen i will join you to the whatsapp uh, family that there was the computing class student cl uh, family so anytime you want to ask any question you can just send your question to that page so please don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for our next lesson. Thank you. Bye-bye.